Hello everyone, I'm the Solo Gamer, and welcome back to Carbo Space Program Career Mode. Now, I know I did promise the, uh, the Duna Expedition, but sadly, I just need a lot more parts to get to Duna. Not, you know, in the sense of I need bigger rockets and stuff like that, but I need, um... Well, for one, I need the Nerva rocket. The nuclear engine, because that's gonna really, really help us out there. Uh, not only that, but I want to bring more science there, so... You know, anything could help. Little gizmos. Uh, ladder system. Uh, here, I'll show you the actual lander. I called it the Hermes Mark One. All right, here it is. So this is basically the uh, the lander that's going to land on the uh, the planet of Duna, and uh, when it takes back off, these are going to fall off, obviously enough, um, if they're drained of fuel. If not, then uh, they'll just stay on for the ride, and then drain later on. It's got a bunch of parachutes on there, so that's how we're going to be getting down. We're not going to be doing a controlled descent unless we actually need it. Uh, there should be enough parachutes on here that should slow it down enough, but we'll see. Yeah, so the only problem is the ladder system, and uh, I want to bring more science parts. Considering it's a long journey, I mean, I really want to make the best use of it. So what we're going to do is probably go to Minmus. Now, uh, I've actually designed a rocket here. So this is the same old Icarus that you saw before that we went to uh, Minmus the last time. Um, so what we're going to do is go to the Hercules 1 rocket that I have created. This can uh, carry small to medium cargo, and uh, it's about 8 to 9 tons maximum, basically. So this is about, like, 8 tons. So it, it actually, uh, it brings it up there nicely. So, uh, this is the nice little, uh, rocket that I have set up here. It's actually pretty compact, and it's all set up for me, so I really don't have to do a lot of work when it comes to launch stages with smaller stuff. I do have to design bigger rockets, and that was what this Helios 1 rocket was, but it doesn't actually work. So I'll have to rethink this one. We'll see. Yeah, so here's comparison if you really wanted one. It's got the launch struts on it, but don't mind that. It's just size, basically. Yeah. Oh well, have to redesign this one. Alright, and here we go, the launch of the Icarus on the Hercules-1 rocket. Now, the Hercules-1 rocket, despite, you know, not having the main sail, is actually pretty versatile. Now, the problem here, uh, as you're looking at it, um, was that I put it into the sub-assembly with everything all set up, all the staging, all the fuel lines. However, for some reason, when I took it out of the sub-assembly, the fuel lines actually broke off, and I didn't know that. So it didn't drain all the fuel at once, so it drained it from one side, and uh, sadly that caused the thing to tip over. But, I solved the issue and uh, it's, it's fixed now. now. As you can see here, this rocket narrowly misses the ground and continues going up. I thought that was pretty cool, so uh, I thought I'd show that off and this cool little crash sequence because I thought it was awesome. Anyways, this is the actual rocket launch, and uh, we fixed the issue of the fuel lines, and we shouldn't have those problems anymore. Uh, now, considering this this Hercules rocket does not have the mainsail, uh, the actual mainsail, we're using the skipper right now, it's actually doing a pretty good job of getting small cargo into orbit. The Icarus is about 7 to 8 tons, so getting this into orbit and getting it to Minmus on one stage is actually pretty significant um, for a rocket. So I'm, I'm really, really happy with the design of the, the Hercules, and uh, now we just need the mainsail to create, you know, a bigger launch stage to get heavier stuff into orbit and, uh, farther. So, uh, right now we're just getting to Minmus, burning the last little bit to get into an encounter. Now, I did have a little bit of a problem getting to Minmus because I missed the, uh, the intercept point. Um, but that's alright. We got there. Here we are. We still have plenty of fuel. The launch stage got us here, and then, again, since I, I missed the intercept, I had to use a little bit of the, uh, the descent phase here. So here we go, just circularizing and bringing it down. I'm not going for a circular orbit, I'm just gonna bring it down right into that lake that you're not looking at. There it is! There's the lake! We're bringing it down into the lake right there. Now, Minmus is actually pretty ripe for science, and there's science almost everywhere you go, considering there's a lot of different biomes. Now, the one problem that I am gonna have with Duna is that there are no biomes yet for it, uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do for that, because I don't wanna go and have to return later on to get better science. Uh, I mean, it's going to give me a lot of science regardless of where I land. It's just, it's not what it could be, you know? Alright, so here we come in for a nice little landing on the, uh, the flats here. The ice flats. Or, it's not really ice. Minmus is... I don't, I don't know what Minmus is made of. Exactly. I know it's not ice because it's, it's way, way, way too close to the sun. So I, I don't know what it's made of, but it is a nice greenish, icy color. <laughs> Alright, here we come down for a landing. We got a slower descent. Now this was actually one of the better descents that I've done. 
in which um, we're really slowing ourselves down here and we're coming in nicely. We've got plenty of fuel. Here we go. Coming in for a nice little landing. Slowed ourselves right down there. It was perfect. And we made it to Minmus. It took us a little bit longer than I had originally thought because I kind of... I kind of didn't intercept it at the right angle. Um, so I had to kind of do some orbital mechanics to kind of get back into, uh, you know, the sphere of influence with it and uh, stuff like that. So we're finally here. Uh, one thing I did notice while I was on my journey is that Bill came along rather than uh, somebody else, but that's fine. We won't worry about that. Okay, so let's grab some data. Hopefully this is a new area. Uh, lesser flats, that it is. Okay, so while the material symbols were processed, you began to turn your thoughts to how much Minmus looks like a mint dessert, and have discovered that you are now hungry. Ooh, my. Alright, so keep that data. That's 125 science, uh, each. However, one's gonna get probably reduced to, like, 50 or so. Uh, what else? We have all of these. You observe the goo, of course, 50, 50, 50. Again, it's not always going to be that way, but, uh, we'll see. We also have, uh, these thermometers, so we'll toggle the display. It's negative 0.3... What is it, Celsius? Uh, does not say. I don't know what that's measured in. Fahrenheit, Celsius. Huh. Uh, collected and recorded temperature data from the environment. Okay, plus 40. Awesome. We have another one over here as well. Just grab that. Log temperature, thank you. We also have a crew report. We'll just do this. Uh, 25, that's not that bad. But then again, we also have, you know, um, EVA and stuff. So this is a lot of science just right here. I love it. Yay! All right, so let's uh, let's take an EVA report. You feel a bit like a superhero when you jump in the low gravity. Absolutely. <laughs> and we're going to space. Goodbye. Now let's get back down there. Okay, now let's take a surface sample. Uh, 150. You sneak a taste of the surface sample. Nope, it definitely is not made of delicious dessert products. Well, I'm glad we cleared that up. Let's plant a flag. There it is, alright. Alright, the Icarus Mark 1 second landing. Perfect. Uh, is there anything else I could do? Now, I wonder... Considering we're in the lower flat, where were we last time? Oh, we were on the other side of the freaking... Oh, that's perfect then. Uh, I'm wondering what this is up here. And if I can reach it. Now, I I'm thinking that I could probably just hop on over. It is up higher, so I'm gonna have to get some, uh... Hmm... Why don't I take a walk over to it? Because it doesn't take much with the RCS. So, I just want to get surface samples. So let's go and deposit these inside of the, uh... The craft itself. Alright, so let's just take off here. Make sure we have the resources panel open. And... Adios. We'll be back. Boom. Touchdown. Alright, so about 7.9 kilometers away, and we only wasted about a third of our mod repellent, or EVA repellent. Technically, if I lost all power, I could have walked this, or I technically I can walk back. There was a steep drop here, but, uh, alright, cool, let's see if we're in a different area. Uh, we are on the slopes. Okay, you feel a bit like a superhero when you jump. Alright, we already read that. Surface sample. Uh, the surface seems to consist of tiny crystal-like grains, very pretty. Probably not edible. Yeah, probably not. You don't want to try to eat those. I will right, keep that and we'll also plant the flag. We'll call this Expedition Slopes. Alright, Expedition Slopes. Perfect. Now let's head on all the way back. Actually, is there anything else around here? So, considering we're on the slopes, I'm thinking that's what all of this is in here. I could technically try to go to that little lake over there, but I don't know if that's... I mean, I do want all the science I can get, but I think that I'm good right now. Yeah, let's head back. Go, 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 go. Whoa, whoo. If I hit the ground, I would have been gone. I would have fell down the entire mountain. Alright, getting there is so much easier. All you have to do is just burn forward like this. And uh, the descent pattern should take us in. As long as we have enough speed. Not bad. Not bad at all. Expedition Slopes was a success. And we got ourselves an additional maybe 170 science. 175, something like that. 
What the hell was that? My flag! What the hell just happened to my flag? How dare you! Alright, well, let's go ahead inside, store those, come on back out, because I want to plant my flag, thank you very much. There it is. Hopefully that stays. I'm not sure what happened the first time. It was kind of a weird graphical error that just caused the flag to disappear. Thank God my ship didn't. That would have been bad. Oh, sorry, I gave you another concussion. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Alright, time to go home. Now, if I was a little bit smarter with this mission, I would have brought the lander to the slopes itself and to another biome. I have plenty of fuel, so I could have done it. I would have gotten so much more science. But, uh, sadly, I just wasn't on my mind at all. I was uh, kind of mad about that afterwards, but you know what? It was an overall successful mission, and it turned up a lot of science. So, on the way back from uh, Mimis, I have an encounter here with the, uh, the moon, so I think I'm going to actually use this to get more science. Now, I know I can't really use the, um, the, uh, what's it called? The goo and the, uh, the science juniors, but I think I could relog the, uh, the temperature. Nope, I can't do that either. Well, actually, it's, hang on. Whoop. Go back in here. Can I relog temperature? Uh, no, but I can kill one and then log, well, I don't know if that'll be more. I can at least get a crew report and, uh, an EVA report. In high lunar orbit. Might as well use the, uh, use this to its fullest, right? And then we have to do a small little burn at the periapsis, which is about... A million seven hundred twenty-five, so we're not getting really close to the moon, it's just... Something to do and get more science from. Alright, so technically we are in the, uh, the sphere of influence of the moon, which is up there, so let's do our crew report. Oh, we overwrite it. Okay, well, let's just do an EVA then. Just get something. <laughs> EVA report. 24 science. See? That's perfect. Well, if I had known, I would have saved something. But, you know what? That's alright. It's 24 extra science. I wasn't really expecting to come back into the moon's orbit, so... Good! Alright, now let's go and do our burn. Okay, and here we are back on Kerbin. We are just landing here. Uh, Bill is still alright. He's doing great after his long, long, long voyage. Alright, let's slow down just a little bit, just so we can open the parachutes. A little bit more gentle. Er, There we go. And 4.4 meters per second. We are going to land this thing safely. Let's get down there. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. This was a really, really good mission, despite me, you know, not going after a perfect intercept with Minmus. It was actually a really, really good mission, because we caught the moon, and uh, we got more science there. Not only that, but we got a ton of science on the moon, uh, on Minmus. So, it, it, this is, this is really cool. I like it. Alright, and we are landing. You know what, let's land, kind of like we did on Minmus, just kind of slow ourselves down to about one-ish. No big deal, really, it's just... There we go. Perfect landing. Alright, well first and foremost, let's get on our um, our engine, just so I can get up with this guy again. I don't know if I will be able to though. Yeah, I will. Alright, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna do uh, an EVA report. Uh, zero science, really. Oh, it's from the Highlands. Alright, server sample, zero. That was just a waste of time. <laughs> Alright, well we might as well conquer this. We only conquer things back at home. Really. There we go. Territory of the Solar Empire. And let's jump up, get it, and get in. It's not much at all. Jeez. Alright, where is this? Alright. We've been around here before. Okay, we made 692 science. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Alright, let's go to the research center. And let's get a couple things. First and foremost, I need this. So that's 300 right out of the get-go. Um, I absolutely need that. Okay. Now, another thing that's kind of optional is uh, electric, so we can get the barometer. Ah, oh, the ladders are in there, though. That would be very, very helpful. 
What else do I absolutely need? I don't think I need anything else critically besides getting more science. So, let's grab this. Okay, now we have 300 left, so we can get any of these guys. Well, let's see. Oh, we can start with wheels. It's not the good wheels, though. That's the only problem. I could get even more science. Because we have the, uh, the seismic accelerometer here, too. Alright, you know what? Let's just go with this. Get more science. If we're going to send something to Duna, we better send it with a lot of science. So, grab that. Good. What's next? Um, ooh, avionics nose cone. Yes, perfect. And uh, Grevio lie detector. Awesome. Anyways, guys, that's been it for this Min Miss Moon journey. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.